What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Iso Earl, aka. You already know who it is. And as you can tell by the thumbnail, we got a banger for y'all. But no cap, hey, look at all these level ones around me. Look at all these brown shirts. Yo, that's crazy. Now, but as requested, as requested, we got my official low key Drew 2K23 current gen jump shot tutorial. We got a little jump shot video for y'all today. And if you've been on the game at all, you could feel there's a clear skill gap or a clear difficulty in, in shooting this year, especially for big men. Because a lot of these jump shots that people are making on YouTube and TikTok, that's locked out animations for us this year. I mean, I got my 7 foot, 290 pound shack build out here. Got an 83 three point, which is good, but half the jump shot bases are going to be completely blanked out for that. So, I've been playing with the jump shot builder a lot. I mean, obviously 2K just dropped, we're not even a week in. So, in the future, I'm sure there's going to be some meta tactics, some meta jump shots coming out, but this has been what's working for me from day one, from day one. So, I'm going to try to put y'all on. All right, so first things first, you got to hop into your controller settings. When you go in controller settings, you're going to want to turn your shot meter off for your shots. If you want to keep it off for free throw, I keep it on for free throw. That's preference. But the reason you want to keep it off is not only for your green window, but you want to keep it off to learn your cue. Your cue meaning when you have to let go of the X button so your shot is going to be green. If you keep the shot meter on, you rely on looking at that and just trying to time it. And the difficult part about that is your jump shot is different every time you shoot it this year. Whether somebody's about to contest or, you know, you're, you're, you're doing it off the catch and shoot or you're, you're doing it off sitting in the corner. It's different timing, so you want to learn your cue. The next biggest thing is going to be changing your shot timing release. Now, a lot of people think the shot timing release affects how fast your jump shot is, which is not the case. Last year we couldn't play with this, but all they're allowing you to do with this setting is change where your green window is in your jump shot. So this, wherever you put this, is going to be 100% preference. I keep it on late, and I just release the ball as the ball is leaving my player's hands, and that's where I found my green window to be. But you can play with this. Whatever feels natural to you, that's really what you want to use. All right, now that your settings down, I actually got two big man jump shots to share with y'all real quick. Before we get into the jump shot though, I'm just gonna cover how the custom jump shot builder works. The f there's four things in the bottom right, four stats that you're gonna notice as you're messing with all this. The first one's release height, that's self-explanatory. The second one's release speed. The one in the top right, defensive immunity, is how well you're able to get your jump shot off without getting a contest. And your timing impact is the size of your green window. So the first jump shot that I got on the screen here, this is what I recommend you use if you're newer to 2K or you're just not good at timing your release. Because uh, it's got A, timing impact, so you're giving yourself the largest green window possible as a big man. So even if you're not good at timing it, you'll stick with those greens. And it's still got a decent release speed. I mean, this thing, it's going to be chicken. It's going to be chicken. This jump shot is what I'm personally using from day one. Now, first thing you're going to notice is the timing impact is a D plus. So it doesn't have the largest green window, but if you're good at timing your shots, this is going to be straight chicken. This is the fastest release speed that I found for a seven foot big man. It gives you A minus. Uh, the Dwight Powell base is really giving you that. The Jabari Smith release one is giving you a faster release speed. But as y'all could tell in the, in the builder, I know it's not online, but this is just straight chicken. It's straight chicken. It. And what you want to focus on if you're practicing while you're not in the park, I'm personally using the fastest release speed because I want to be able to get my jump shot off at any point, right? So even if I'm not wide open, I can still get it off. But you want to be focusing on your cue. So for this jump shot, I'm releasing the X button as soon as the ball is about to leave my player's hands, right? And that way, if you learn your cue, even if... For whatever reason, you you get an animation where your jump shot speeds up because someone's contesting you, or you know you get a weird where it's feeling slow. You know when to release the X button and you can still green it 
regardless of, you know, what animation they're going to put you in. But I don't know, man. That's just been working for me thus far, you know, since day one. Let me know if y'all have had success with something different, you know. But uh, that's it. I mean, if you if you apply these basic methods and you have, and you practice enough with the jump shot you're using and it's not a terrible FFF across the board, you're eventually going to be green and man. You're going to be good. But uh, either way, that's going to be about doing it for the video. I just wanted to hop on here drop this real quick. Um, if y'all can like, comment, subscribe, if you learned something, that would be mad chill. That would be mad chill, man. We trying to go crazy for 2K23. If you rocking with me early, if you rocking with me right now, that's going to be remembered. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be remembered. We're going to push out this content, though. Um, but that's it.